guys, it's Hidden Star TV here and welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I've got you an insane trading method which every single person can use. This is ranging from people who have no coins, like 1k coins, to people who have millions of coins or 100,000 coins or something like that. So if you do not like this trading method guys, make sure to slap a like on this video, it will help me out greatly. And if you are new to this channel, why not hit that subscribe button down below because we are ever so close to 1,500 subscribers. And just another thing guys, I'm thinking of doing a career mode on this channel. If you want that, make sure to let me know in the comment section below what clubs you want me to do because I don't just want to do Chelsea, I don't just want to keep everything Chelsea on this channel, I want to kind of do a different club for my career mode, so please let me know in the comment section below what club you want me to choose. Yeah, with all that out the way and done and said, let's get in to the actual training method and what you actually need to do to make an insane amount of coins. So guys, as you've seen in the thumbnail, it's basically to do with the player of the month. Now last month's player of the month was indeed the purple sterling and this purple sterling is in my team right now which you can see on screen an absolutely insane player as you can see there from his stats he doesn't get the, an insane amount of goals or assists per game but just playing with him just insane especially with that four star skills and 95 pace for a winger is absolutely ridiculous so what i'm going to do right now is post a picture just on your screen it will be on your screen around about now just showing you what the results are for the EA team of the week. This month, EA have allowed every single person in the world to vote Premier League Player of the Month. Now this gives us as players a really, really big advantage because we can pick and choose what clubs, countries, and stuff like that, which we can trade with. Now for Sterling, it was a full Man City team, a full English team, and a full Premier League team. Obviously, because he's from Man City, he's English, and he's from the Premier League. So as you can see on your screen around about now, the top players with the most votes and the most percentage are indeed Son and Adam Lallana. Now what does this mean? The next squad building challenge will either be Adam Lallana or Son. So with a bit of common sense, you will obviously need to buy Korean players, English players, Liverpool players and Tottenham players. And the reason why you can make insane amount of coins with this is because as you saw when the Sterling one came out, Man City players rose so much. Yaya Torre I think started at around 30 or 25k and he's now plus 50k. So already having all these players in your club and pre-bought them before the actual player of the month has came out is a fantastic investment. You can either keep them from the squad builder if you want that Adam Lallana or that Son or you can sell them and probably double or triple your profit. So for example guys if we go over to Premier League then we go across to Liverpool and we just search let's say 2,000 coins there's going to be players below 2,000 coins from, from Liverpool which are going to be probably above 5,000 coins. Like Ings here, there's 1.1k. Probably get for a bit cheaper than that. There's Mignolet for 1.2. They're not even selling at 800. When Adam Lallana gets a player of the month card or if he gets the player of the month card over Son, Mignolet will be going for so much because of the squad building challenges. Same here with Origi. Centre-backs as well. Centre-backs will definitely be needed. So you can stack up on all these cheap live players for your club and you can even do it with Tottenham players if we go over to Spurs here you can see there's so many players below 2,000 coins which you can purchase then Kudu there there's Son who may be getting here he'll probably rise up as well Janssen, Dyer, so many players guys which you can just stack on you don't have to just stack one of each player you can stack up with a load of Nkulus or a load of Sons or a load of Dyers, you can stack up on loads of them because people will be wanting them for the squad building challenges, especially if it's a good card. So guys, hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully you learned something new. If you did, make sure to slap a like on this video, it would be definitely much appreciated. And if you're new, why not hit that subscribe button down below as we're getting ever so closer to 1,500 subscribers. And make sure to share this video with your friends, guys, because I'm sure your friends will want to know some trading methods for this month's Player of the Month. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next video.